Welcome to HB6 Radiology. We're going to show you just how quickly digital x-rays are processed. But before I show you that, let's see how things used to be. Now let's go back to the Stone Ages, back to the time where we had to run film. And there's a lot of headaches involved. First, we take them all the way up the hall here. Oh, excuse me, I have to run, pardon me. Excuse me. Okay. I know this patient's been waiting. I don't like to see him wait, but I gotta click this open here, take the film out, put it in there, and wait. You gotta wait. No way around it. Let's load it up and wait. Okay, let's go. All right. And we're gonna walk back up. Now we have to wait for the film to come out. Wait and wait. Mmm smells like chemicals. Thank God for digital. Let's look at this corrosion. Still waiting for that first film. Oh, here we go. First one. Oh, great. It's ruined. Where's the other one at? Oh, boy. Here we go again. Got the film stuck in here. Film's ruined. i to take these out. Oh, I don't want to mix the picture and developer or the whole thing will have to be flushed and redone. The patient's going to have to be re-exposed for no good reason. Before we x-ray a patient, we identify the film. We take the cassette from here, and this is our identification slot. Pick the patient's name and hit this key here to identify the cassette. Once the cassette is identified, we can take the film into the room to x-ray the patient. And then we come in here to do the x-ray. We put our uh, cassette right into the wall bucky here. Um, we do these, these are for standing, for chest, for um, standing spine work, for skull work. And if the patient can't stand, then we bring them over here and we put them on our table. And here we do hips, abdomens, pelvises, and uh, sometimes we have to uh, keep the patient in their bed and we do their x-ray right in the bed. Um, once we're finished with the x-ray, we take our x-ray plate and we take it back to where we ID'd it to process it. Once the x-ray has been taken on the cassette, it is then placed on the digitizer or processor where the image is developed. Once the cassette is run through the digitizer, it then appears on our monitor where we're able to visualize the image and make sure if any corrections need to be made. We are able then to send the image itself to any of the doctors that read at the different five locations that we have. Once the image has been sent, we are able to print the images. That way we have hard copies that will then go to our film library to be filed in the patient's folder. It's a lot easier this way as the old way in running films to a dark room, waiting for the images to process, and the doctors now receive the images right through the system and don't have to wait for the images to come to them anymore. Welcome to Thoracic Park. No, 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 not Jurassic Park. Thoracic Park. This is the viewing room for non-vascular diseases in the chest. There are similar viewing rooms for neuroimaging, for abdominal imaging, for pediatric imaging, for musculoskeletal and breast diseases. Well, let's go inside and see what's going on with respect to the chest right now. Single AP chest shows an enlarged cardiac size with mild central vascular engorgement. Imaging studies of the thorax, whether they be CT, MR, or plain film, are sent here via digital hookup, via our PAC system, and interpreted by our radiology staff. This viewing station is just like many throughout the Division of Radiology. The new digital processor is great, and it gets even better. This right here, this is the future of radiology. With this baby, the image is taken and instantly wired to a doctor in one of the reading rooms, such as Thoracic Park. This is more efficient and quicker for the patient. Welcome to the future. The future of radiology.